Hello grade 10 students. Today, we are in week 3 of quarter 4, with most essential learning competency. Observe correct grammar in making definitions. Learning task 1. Listen to the song, There You'll Be, by Faith Hill. Click the link below to listen to the audio. Answer the following questions. 1. What do you feel after listening to the song? 2. What made you feel that way? 3. Write your ideas about exciting and memorable experience which you can relate to the song. Use thought balloons below. On a piece of paper, draw a symbolic icon of your inspiration. Explain your illustration in 3 to 5 sentences. Widening one's horizon entails considerable patience and interest in reading and studying. Read the different ways of expanding the definition of words. There are three ways in expanding a definition into paragraph. First, expanding by giving example. Second, expanding by comparing and contrasting. Third, expanding by describing a process. First, expanding by giving example. Speed is a concept that marks our time. Everybody is in a hurry to go somewhere. Industry is constantly demanding new inventions that will speed up production so that the constant cry of the bosses to the workmen is speeded up. The maker of automobiles boasts of the newest type of car, which is faster than the old model. Shoppers push and shove each other all about the counters. All are in a hurry to get something. People who are going to school, shop, or office rush breathlessly to do important tasks. They gulp their food and swallow in haste. Restless hunters of fun crowd into places of entertainment. Most of these people cannot sit still. At a movie, they tap their feet or fingers in impatience. Yes, speed is the word of the day. Second, expanding by comparing and contrasting. Speed is a concept that marks our day. Sluggish is out. Speed is demanded by industry, which is constantly on the look, out for new inventions. Sluggishness is penalized, especially in industries where compensation depends upon output. Speed is the attractive come, on for short-term courses in cooking, computerizing, sewing, diving, learning, learning a new language, and others. The slower long-term courses are not so appealing. Instant coffee is usually preferred to coffee that must be boiled yet. Yes, speed is the word of the day. Third, expanding by describing a process. The process of speeding up in a vehicle begins with the setting of the gear level to the first gear. This moves the vehicle from a stationary to a low speed of about less than 10 km per hour. Gradually, you shift the gear to the next, pressing the accelerator pedal at the same time to attain a speed between 10 to 30 km per hour. You can pick up more speed by shifting gears to the next higher levels at speed beyond 30 km per hour. To do this however, along with the shift to third or fourth gear, ever, increasing pressure must be exerted on the clutch pedal, you immediately step on the accelerator pedal while picking up speed. Maximum speed is attained once you shift to the fourth, or in the case of some vehicles, the fifth gear, at which you travel at speeds of 80 km per hour or above. Learning Task 2 Fill in with the correct data needed. Learning task 3. Give a comprehensive definition of words above by using different ways of expanding them. Read The Last Leaf by O. Henry.
Learning task four, answer the following questions. Number one, what was Johnsy's illness? Two, what was the cause of her sickness? Three, what do you think made Johnsy consider that her possible death would be simultaneous with the last leaf to fall? What is the connection with her illness? What helped Johnsy recover from her illness? Learning task 5, beyond word meaning, give the meaning of the following words using dictionary or thesaurus. First, unscintillating points. Second, metallic crepitation. Third, purpose of the pilgrimage. Fourth, abyss of space. Fifth, aftermath of the Armageddon.